Our first pumpkin recipe of the season is here. That recipe, pumpkin protein custard that you can prep in minutes with super common ingredients. It's delicious, filling, cheap to make, and packed with over 40 grams of protein per serving. So let's jump right into it. This recipe gets at least a thousand likes. We'll keep the pumpkin dessert recipes coming. Start this one by adding into a mixing bowl, three large whole eggs, three fourths a cup, your choice Greek yogurt, one can of pumpkin, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, three tablespoons of a sugar-free syrup, two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice, two scoops of protein powder, fourth a teaspoon of salt, and optional sweetener if your other ingredients aren't sweet enough. I usually use one to two tablespoons depending on the sweetener I'm using. Two other things I should also mention here. One, you can change up the flavor of the recipe by mixing and matching your Greek yogurt and protein powder flavors. Think pumpkin Greek yogurt with vanilla protein powder. And two, if you don't have access to pumpkin pie spice, I'll put a recipe for this on the website along with other substitutes and metric conversions for every ingredient, which is always linked up here or below in the description. Mix those ingredients together until smooth. From here, take out whatever you're gonna bake it in, and if it's not nonstick, hit it with cooking spray. I like making two individual servings with these, which are one and a half cups each. Optionally top them with whatever you want, like some nuts or chocolate chips, put them into the oven on 350 from 50 to 55 minutes, or until it looks like this. to this one. Number one, remember that your baking time will change depending on what you're baking it in. Examples here would be if you're making a bunch of small servings that may only take 30 minutes or if you're making one big one that's thick, it might take over an hour. I'll do my best to include as many as I can on the website. Number two, in my opinion, it tastes way better once it fully cools, so I'll usually throw it in the fridge for a bit prior to eating it. And number three, top it with a sugar-free whipped topping. The winner of our last testing your guest submitting for the cottage cheese was Bang. Congrats to you. For this week's testing your guest submitting, we're gonna do this much candy corn. Guess how much you think it weighs in grams and the first one closest to it will win a shirt or shaker. One guest per person. With that said, thank you for watching. Hit that thumbs up button for more seasonal recipe ideas like this one. Subscribe if you haven't already so you never miss a recipe. Don't forget to check out theproteinchef.co for all your healthy recipe needs. And of course, stay healthy. Yeah.